Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll teach you how to make your own deal of Roblox. Um, this works with uh, any model of Visual Studio, and this perfectly works. Um, you might have to update it every week. Of course, you have to update it. Roblox changes up your ad addresses, integers, calling conventions, everything. I'll explain more in this video, and this video is like really long, so you might want to like you know take a break and stuff. So first, you want to download Visual Studio, click Create New Project, C++ and C, um, cpp and you want to name your dll i'm going to name mine snow dll and you're probably wondering why snow because i made an api um how to make your own roblox exploit api and it was released about two to three days ago and i made it snow api so first uh you have your own solution explorer uh it gives you pre-compiled header file which stands for pch which always happens when you create a project i think you can disable it i'm not sure so first you want to set your um architecture into release x86 cpu and don't start it because you can't start it you don't have a executor for this it's a deal so you have to manually inject it with create thread or any you know any of the deal injection type methods so first you can rename your uh, c++ file i need mine to for example uh injection or i'm trying to inject and you want to create a uh, Three files. One is called uh, retcheck.h. Create another file called uh, and create another file called addresses or Roblox. Dot h. Oh, um, by the way, you can name it to whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, it's not my deal. It's yours. So you want to create uh, three header files. I mean, two header files: Roblox, Retch, and Inject. Now you want to uh, add some includes so that you can have more functions. So, oh, sorry, wrong keyword. Uh, it has to include Windows 8 string because we're going to need a lot. You can do some extra things that I need. Uh, and use. And I want to set your injection. Whatever this is, you're probably wondering what the heck is this. This is the. Uh, this is definitely like you know, this is the injection, how the process the deal is gonna go through like the entry point. But you need a void or a door like a function name. I'm gonna name mine, but you need to call it. So otherwise it won't work. For example, I'm already mine void DLL start or no start inject. Um, this has zero arguments because you're not really doing anything. In one is brackets. And I can do something as message. Um, if you're using a console, um, I'm going to be using a console, so not right now. But we're going to use a console. Uh, snow DLL. High speed. And I can just do it here. Well, I'm not going to really do anything right now. I, I can use the system function that C++ gives me and runs the batch script. I'm pretty sure, no, same thing. Yeah. Uh, now what you want to do is that you can add a friendly message. So if you're not using console, you can just add the comment um, and add a message box A. No, because I don't really like to use the definition of the function. Um, it's no deal all injection. Injected, and you can do and be topmost, so you can't really like get rid of it. If you click on the screen, it's gonna show. It's gonna overlay the Roblox application. So when that's one once that's um once that's loaded, uh now you wanna call your function by just copying it. Remember, there's process and thread. Uh, if you do this, for example, some people are like, oh okay, I got this. If you do this. It's just gonna inject two times, which you do not want. And also, uh, this is used as a definition. Yeah, definition. Um, and break means like it's gonna break the function. It's gonna break the DLL. So uh, what happens if I don't do this? For example, if I do this, then I'm gonna inject. Uh, technically, what's it gonna do is that it's going to technically it won't exit. You need to like manually, you know, go to CMD, kill it. Uh, I recommend you do not uh, like keep that there. And yeah, uh, don't worry about this. I mean, we're not using threads, so that's good. Um, 
now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a we're gonna create one well first what we can do is that we can go to roblox that is we're gonna code in the inject later the inject is like super easy so we're done with the injection first let's do some includes now um you don't really need that much i mean that depends so to make it cleaner i'm gonna add a namespace called uh ad addresses or that's nah, okay uh first i'm gonna do is i'm going to make an static int script contact script context equals zero now uh okay, i'm just gonna do a null but right now i don't have the script context address next we're gonna do int um roadblocks oh no that would work you can just get data model uh your choice of scanning type uh i'm going to be doing what other functions well for this deal we're gonna need lots of functions so let's use blue here in Lua set field equals no and I'll give you a Lua C example um soon. So this is Lua set field Lua push billion equals no. Honestly, you can just keep copying this, but I don't bother. In Lua push number Lua oops, Lua push push value is one. I'm pretty sure push string is one too. Oh yeah. That's well, that's the most important. Int push. I'm pretty sure that's all we need right now. Okay, the most important one that we need is Lua P call equals no. And uh int Lua setup. I think it's get off, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is all we need. Uh now we need calling conventions. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Define Lua get uh get field and shoot fast call. Um, if you don't know what this is, there are many times. I'm pretty sure here's one vector vector call, std call, uh, city uh, uh, std call. Yeah, this pretty much it has all calls, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to do mine to zero this time because we're not really doing anything right now. Um, yeah. Okay, we got Lewis set field. Uh, now I probably want to use the same definition, so it won't work like that. I'm going to add in CC. Oh, we're going to do the con conventions later. I'm not going to like really do them right now. And here's a Lewis example of what is going to run. So maybe you're going to have an idea on... Um, how it's going to work. Oh, I didn't make sure that's C, but okay. Uh, for example, like if I have this, uh, so for example, get field, uh, get field. The state doesn't count because everybody does the job, so I can use this and I can write it in print. So it calls a global, um, with the function device, the first one, the second one is an integer, and then the third one is the function. I'm pretty sure I kind of I haven't caught anything in C for a while. And then we got a push string. Um, uh, this is just a Lewis example. So uh, push string hello my string. I don't know. And P call one one no no. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is how it would go. I don't know about push string push string or get field i haven't used this we've seen in a while but that that gives the clarity and what how it's going to work so uh once you do this we need to tell them like the injection is finished tell the player the injection is a hundred percent complete i'll say have you noticed roblox uh did an update about three months ago in lines so i'm gonna write here that's great. Ready. Ready. Um. Yeah. Uh. 
what we can do is that we can make a error code so if it catches an exception it will add up to the integer so let's do an uh, int error code equals uh, zero so we're not doing anything right now but for example say uh, I'm just gonna do some hard task uh, code equals plus equals equals oops I just noticed that uh, error code equals this plus this plus this uh, I don't know if it will catch an exception let's do this instead so this will t do 20 but pretend it catches an exception for example try this catch exception uh, this is how it works it's similar to C sharp now I can do is I can do error code equals no so we can clear it out and then you can do error code equals error code oh no equals one print error and then it's gonna display as the error uh, no error code well I hope they give you like a clear view uh, it won't work like that uh yep this will work but uh uh i hope this gives you like a clear view the injection is complete so if we inject right now what you want to do is go here click build or you can just click and compile i'm pretty sure they're the same thing Click and build, and it's in its job. Build started each project. Snow deal configuration release Win32. It's doing its job, and there it is. It comes in my directory as Snow deal though. If I paste this into my uh, here, here it is. Snow deal though, 9 KB. If you're probably wondering, release, I'm pretty sure it decreases the file size. But I hope this gives you a clear view on how exploits work. I'm gonna do a part two. But uh, you can just what you can do is just you can remove the code. I mean, just for example, uh, you can remove this and yeah. But don't remove this. This is for addresses. I'll do it in the next video. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.